it's it's a good start. Hi, I'm filming a video. Oh, hay fever. Get a waft of it then. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Today I am filming a Fairyloot unboxing for you all. This is the May box and it has literally just arrived. I really wasn't anticipating filming a video today, hence why I'm not very put together, but that is absolutely fine. There is absolutely no way that I am waiting to unbox this for anything. This, as I said, is the May box. There was a delay this month with Dispatch, but I only actually received my information of Dispatch last night and it has arrived today. So I'm very impressed with how quickly it has gotten to me. And I'm just super, super excited to dive in. So we're just gonna go for it. It feels like it's been so long since I did a unboxing because I think the April box was like slightly early or it was like bang on time. And then this one's a bit late. I don't remember the theme. I think it's got something to do with spellcraft. We'll, we'll find out in a minute. I do know what the book is, but I just cannot wait to see what Fairy Loot has done with it. I know that it's got an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, basically every customization that you can think of fairy loot has done for this book so <laughs> i'm excited and without further ado we're just gonna dive right in okay let's try and balance this precariously okay i'm gonna have to go in with this big item first because this is so intriguing. I was correct, the theme is Spellcraft. I'm gonna try and avoid this spoiler card as much as possible because I already know what the book is, so like I don't wanna spoil anything else for myself, but this artwork is absolutely stunning. Oh my God, I think it's, hang on. Oh my goodness. So it's like a, um, well, it's a cup that you put a straw in. From now until the darkness claims us. And it's a Sarah J Mass quote. I have been thinking in the past few days like i really want to start making iced coffees to take to work with me but i don't have anything to put them in did fairy loot hear my thoughts you can't really see very clearly because it is see-through but i'll do some up close shots it is a throne of glass inspired tumbler and i i love this like i feel like fairy loot are really good at putting it out of the bag with like useful items and this is definitely definitely a useful item oh and we get a straw with it as well I don't know what to go for next. There's like so many goodies in here. This is intriguing me. It's like this little envelope. I feel heavy. So it's this. I believe it's a Ray Bearer inspired item because I can see the name Jordan Ifwaco. And the quote is, behold what has arrived. So this is beautiful. It's like, <laughs> okay, construction isn't my strong suit. Um, It's like this 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 that looks right it's like a stand for something let me see an item that we have never included before is a wooden phone stand this is actually so handy this artwork is gorgeous it's actually it's more resonant with the redemptor cover if you've seen the cover release for that that's what it reminds me of more than ray bearer but i love this this is really cool this is calling my name so it says roll the dice reading list game and inside we have a little pouch with fairy on it this is so cute that's like luxurious oh my goodness look at that dice wow um i think that's a 20 sided die inside there is it's like a list pad with numbers up to 20. not sure what to read next the tbr game an item we've never included before will help you decide all you need to do is write down all of the books you want to choose from on the numbered sheet of paper and roll the dice. Whichever number you roll, that's the book you read. This item is brought to you by Team Fairy Loot. That's a really, like, cool thing to include. Ooh, okay. The next thing is Serpent and Dove Coaster Set. Serpent and Dove is still something I haven't read. Ooh, okay. These are very nice, but I feel like they're very niche because I haven't read Serpent and Dove. So... They are character coasters, um, all of which are very beautiful. I really like these. I feel like I might stick them around my bookshelf somewhere. Uh, these are really nice, but like, I don't know if they're like the aesthetic that I would want like on the dining room table with my family. Do you know what I mean? Those are really nice though. And I feel like if you are a Serpent and Dove fan, that's something that like you'll really appreciate. 
Oh, okay, then we have an art print. I'm loving the inclusion of the landscape art prints. We got um, a landscape art print in the April box as well. I am not recognising these characters, but they are vampires. This one features characters from the Crave series by Tracy Wolfe. That is a series I haven't read and I'm. it's not on my TBR at all. But this is a really stunning print. I Normally with art prints, I don't mind too much if I haven't read the books because like I can just appreciate how beautiful this print is and the characters are. And then we have the monthly tarot cards. So this is what they look like. We have the nine and ten of wands. They are stunning as always. I wouldn't expect anything else. I have no idea what they're inspired by. Oh, they're also inspired by Serpent and Dove. I swear last month's were inspired by Serpent and Dove as well. Yes, so these were the ones that we got in April and these are also inspired by Serpent and Dove. So we've got like a full set of Serpent and Dove tarot cards, which I, again is super cool if you like Serpent and Dove. <laughs> Imagine when I finally do read Serpent and Dove, I've got a lot of things to include in a review photo. <laughs> so those were all of the items. I feel like we got quite a few high ticket items this month so yeah i feel like we've got a few less items this month however they are bigger items and i can appreciate that i love this tumbler i'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this and i love the phone stand i think that's beautiful and it's also super useful it's now time for the book i can feel that it's a smaller hardback i'm just so excited to see these customizations i can't even tell you so let me get like the author's letter out and whatnot so we've got the fairy scoop and next month's theme is animal companions i'm so excited for next month's box and then we've got okay so this is a bit damaged but we have the author's letter and i do not know who this man is but it's beautiful beautiful artwork and the author's letter as always i love this so we've actually got like three pieces of artwork from this box which I love, I love. And then also the tarot cards. And there should be a bookmark in here. Yeah, which matches the spoiler card artwork. I love the fairy loop bookmarks. We have the book, which I'm I'm stalling. Can you tell that I'm stalling? I am excited, I'm nervous. I can see the sprayed edges and they are literally out of this world. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So they've like customised it to make it look like this ancient like spell book almost, like a magical tome. The book of the month is Which is Steeped in Gold by the way, <laughs> by Shannon Smart. And then it has the foiling on the spine. So this is absolutely stunning. And the sprayed edges, well they're stenciled edges, they go all the way around. Okay, this is beautiful. We have yellow end papers and I believe, yeah, it is signed by the author. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm a bit nervous to look underneath. So we have this on the front. Oh, it's such a beautiful edition of the book. And then artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket. Just wow. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting it to look like this. Like, when they said cover redesign, like, they really did a cover redesign didn't they it literally does look like you know the secret books they do that are like the book tins it looks like one of those but it's an actual book i i'm so excited about this because fairy loop released the theme so early they knew that everybody would know what the book was going to be i feel like they they knew that they had to pull this out of the bag and they definitely have this is gorgeous overall fairy loop have absolutely smashed this box as always i'm just so impressed with everything and yes, it's been so long since I filmed one of these videos that I don't know how to end it slash wrap it up. If you have watched to this point in the video, let me know down below what your favourite item was. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. I do post bookish content regularly. I recently hit 1k, which is just absolutely like so surreal to me. I'm just so blown away and so thankful uh, to have this like little space on the internet where people actually care about me rambling about books it is just so cool so yeah please do let me know if there's any content that you would like to see me create in the future and yes thank you so so much for watching this video and i'll see you all in the next one bye